Okay, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use Jump Software to make a histogram. Uh, the, the data that I'm going to use on, for this video, I'll put a link to that data set, to that Jump file, in the description box below. Uh, that data set, which is right here in this table, uh, is a list of 116 different vehicles or different cars. Uh, along with the country that they're from, the type of vehicle, the weight, the turning circle, and et so on and so forth, etc. Um, what we want to do here is show you how to make a histogram. I'm going to do it with the weights. One easy, quick way to make a histogram is go to your graph drop down menu and click on graph builder. Um, I'm going to use the weights variable. So over here in the variables column, I'm going to left click on the weight variable left click and hold and drag and uh, drop it right over here where the X variable belongs. Um, if I wanted to make a dot plot I would just change this jitter um, variable to positive grid um, but instead of doing that I want to make a histogram so one one quick way to do that is come up here uh, and click on the left click on the histogram icon up at the top and boom I've got my histogram so uh, now you might want to customize the picture um, you could put your name on it or change the background color, change the color of the bars, uh, that type of stuff. You might want to change the font on your uh, x-axis label. To do that, just uh, right-click on x-axis and left-click on font. Maybe, wanna, maybe we want to bold that and make the text a little bit bigger for our reader. Uh, maybe uh, you don't like green for the co co bar color, so... Uh, right click on the color in the legend here and just change the um, fill color to the to the desired color uh, there's some other various um, properties you can change line color line style uh, line width uh, and so on and so forth there It'll let you experiment with that um, you might want to annotate or put your name on it to do that just click up here on the tools and then left click on annotate uh, you can change the background color of your annotation the size the font and all that just by right clicking um, you may want to um, paste this picture into your report into a word microsoft word document or a pages document some other kind of document uh, so the way to do that is to save this graph as an image file to do that, come up to the file drop down menu, click left click and save as. And go ahead and change the file type to PNG or JPEG. Both of those are uh, image file types. So I'm going to save that as a uh, image file type. And then once I've done that, I'm ready. It looks like this. So really, I'm going to have to crop it. Um, this is uh, Paint, I believe. Uh, right now I'm in Microsoft Paint. I'm just going to click on Crop and drag this down so it's covering up that top and then click on done and then just click save and well there's my cropped uh, image okay so that's how easy it is how quick it is to get a uh, histogram in this jump software uh, one other way to customize this this histogram uh, maybe you want to change say the width of these bars maybe you want to change the number of bars and the width of the bars um, one way to do that is to do the following. I'm going to go ahead and X this out. I'm going to close out the graph builder window. Um, so now I'm over here back in the, the uh, data set file. Uh, I'm going to click on analyze, distribution, left click on distribution there. Okay, now I'm going to drag the variable, uh, weight, left click and hold and drag that over here to where it says Y columns. And then just click on OK. And right there I've got a, uh, this window comes up with the histogram in it. Um, there's also a box plot and I've got summary statistics and quantile information. Uh, this may or may not be information you're, uh, you are already familiar with. If you want to get rid of the quantile information and the summary statistics, uh, the way to do that is you come up here on this, you come up here and left click or right click on this uh, red down triangle, left click on the triangle. Um, and highlight display options 
and you want to uncheck quantiles. Uncheck quantiles will get rid of the quantiles there. If you want to get rid of your summary statistics, uh, just go back to the red triangle next to weight, left click, uh, move over to the display options, and uncheck or left click summary statistics. That'll get rid of the uh, statistics. Okay, so uh, I can also resize my graph just by grabbing it and dragging it. If I want to get rid of this box plot, um, maybe that's not desirable to do that, but if I did, um, come back up here to display options. Um, whoops, nope, come on. Um, down here and uncheck or left click on outlier box plot. That'll get rid of the box plot there. Okay, so here's some further customization you can do to your histogram. Um, we can left click up here and move your cursor to where it says histogram options. You've got a few options here. You can uh, you can change the color of the histogram. That's one of the options there. Uh, change that to whatever color you desire. Um, you can also right click on the image and change the histogram color that way. You can also change the background color and something you may be interested in doing is um, let's see what else can we do with our options um, there's a, you can show the percents or the counts so if I check or left click on show counts it'll tell you for example that um, there's six cars in the data set that have a weight between 2,000 pounds and 2,250 pounds there's one vehicle in the data set that has a weight between 1500 and 1750 uh, pounds so you can show the counts there or if you want to you can show the percentages of each bar um, to do that just come over here and highlight histogram options and um, check or left click on show percents so now I'm showing the counts and the percentages in each one of those bars um, if I only want to show the percentages come back up here and left click um, go to histogram options and uncheck where it says show counts left click or uncheck the show counts so now I'm just looking at the the uh, percentages for each category or for each I'm sorry for each bar if I want to change the number of bars maybe I want to have more bars or less bars the way to get that done is to come back up here left click on the weight um, go over here to histogram options and you want to left click where it says set bin width set bin width lit left click okay right now the bin width or the the width of each bar on the x-axis is set to 500 pounds in this case pounds if I want to change that to um, well let's see actually right now the width of each bar is set to 250 pounds if I want to change that to say 300 pounds so if I want to increase the width of the bars that'll give me less bars okay that's one way to do it if I want to increase the number of bars then the way to do that would be to come back over and change the bin width again but this time uh, to make it smaller so if you make the bin width smaller say 150 then that'll give you a lot more bars on your histogram. A good histogram should have between oh, about 5 and 20 bars. Um, so I'll leave that up to you to decide how many bars you want. You can control that again just by controlling the bin width variable. So when you change the bin width variable um, to a large number, that's going to decrease the number of bars if you um, change your bin width variable to a smaller number this is going to increase the number of bars um, so I'll leave it up to you to kind of mess around with that to see how you want uh, fix your histogram there okay so um, one other thing you may be interested in doing is exporting this graph which of course you know how to do it and just go to file and save as change your file type to an image type and then click on save so there you have it that's the uh, histogram it's very very easy to do histogram in the uh, jump software